Question for you guys. How do you store your mason jars? <laughs> we currently put our jars back into the box as they came in. We've sure done that and put them on the shelf. But this doesn't seem as good or as efficient as it could be. Thanks. This is a right. great question. And this is a real challenge. You know, there is this school of thought that says, well, if you have, let's say your family needs, you know, 52 jars of tomato sauce a year, and you're going to can that much every year, that theoretically you should be able to pull a full jar off and then put an empty jar right back into the spot that the full jar came from and rotate that way. The problem is, is <laughs> you need to still be able to access your other full jars, which means you have to pull everything off the shelf to put one behind in the empty spot. That does not really work. I, it really bothered me for a long time. Like it's the same amount of jars, whether they're full or empty, why can't I make this work? And I finally realized that just doesn't work. So the way I like to do it is have one or two shelves just open to receive the empty jars. Um, and then as the amount of jars you know, they're not going to hold all of the jars that I own empty, but they hold enough for me to start emptying the shelves out. And then I can start expanding where I store the empty jars. I hope that made sense. That totally makes sense. It, it made me think of a, another option mm -hmm. that I could suggest, because if you have the space to have some empty shelving, it seems another thing you could do is like if you've got your row, say, of spaghetti sauce, if you could leave an empty row, mm -hmm. full row so that your jar goes into that and you pull off a of one row. It would just kind of move over a little bit of a puzzle. I, that would that would make perfect sense. But I tell you what, I don't maybe this is a male female thing. Might be. I want to stand in front of a shelf that is packed filled with filled jars. <laughs> so that until would be it's like not full use them and then empty. That's true. Yeah. It would slowly. Yes, it would slowly it would transition slowly move to different. So maybe so, that would work. So, yeah. yeah. So just space out your things more so that so you, you have just room have one, for the empty. Right, all you would need is one mm -hmm. full row, I think. Right. So that as you use a row, it just goes over to there. And then when you've used that row, you filled up this row with empties and you now have another empty row. And, and it yeah. just kind of slides over. And you could, if you did that, it takes a little planning. But if you did that, then that could work for all your jars. You're brilliant. Once in a while, I have a good idea. That's amazing. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> all right. Okay. Cool.